Today we're going to talk about how you can use two great services, MyFreeBingoCards.com and then Payable Google Forms, to set up a virtual bingo night fundraiser for your uh, not-for-profit or your community or your business or your parent-teacher association. Uh, at Payable, we get a lot of people who use our forms for various fundraising ideas, and uh, we get a lot of people who ask, what's the best way to set up a bingo form uh, where we could charge for the, the cards and we could use it to raise money for our school uh, or another event uh, or something like that? Now, uh, always check your local jurisdictions and your laws and various things in your area to understand what it takes to legally operate bingo. Most of the time we are talking about use cases here in this video about how to use it for fundraising, where maybe you're giving away a tiny nominal prize, uh, but generally what you're doing is getting a group of people together and having a fun afternoon using Zoom um, to play bingo and raise some money for your uh, experience. So we're going to use two things to set this demo up and I'm going to share all of the forms that I make with you so it'll save you a little bit of time and you can use it as a spot to get it started. So one of the first services that's really cool is MyFreeBingoCards.com. So if you have a web browser all you got to do is go to MyFreeBingoCards.com and this is where you're going to set up your cards, what you're, what you're going to play. So Let's imagine um, I'm going to do a fundraiser next week, and I want to do a fundraiser for my local baseball team, and I would come here beforehand, and I'm going to pick uh, the different types of cards. So they got these are the different types of cards you can do. The website is really cool. They have a lot of their own videos on all of the bells and whistles of the different things, but we're going to do a 1 to 75, uh, the standard kind of bingo card, and we're going to call it... Uh, I'm going to call it the baseball team. I could add a title to the top if you wanted. And they got different themes and stuff that makes it kind of fun. Uh, so let's just make it look what's classic look like. Is this classic? Uh, let's do modern. OK, so I got my baseball team. Uh, you can include free space, not include free space, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So generally, you would set up your card like this, you would hit next step. And you can get 30 cards for free. So that's usually good enough for the average small group. But if you wanted a lot of cards, uh, you could pay a little bit to the free bingo cards team and get even more cards. So for this demo, I'm just gonna do 30 cards. So I'm gonna hit 30 cards for free. Um, and you sit, let's go. Okay, so what they do is they kind of say, hey, bookmark this page, save it for later, because this is where you as an administrator are gonna come back to uh, call the game later on once you start. Okay, so you can bookmark this page and you can see this little KVA35PV. This is gonna be uh, the, the kind of the ID for your bingo cards. And you'll also see here that you it'll say, you can send out this virtual link or um, what you can do is send out individual links. And when you click this individual link button, you will see a link for every single card. So you can see my, my ID, KVA35PV, those are my cards that I set up. And then one to 30, my 30 bingo cards are here. So it's as easy as that. And if you click on one of these, it should open in a new tab and you can see what card two looks like. And when your customers are going to play or your, your donors and your event, they can click right on this link and follow along with you. So it's an interactive card and you can open it in multiple browsers. More than one person can play the same. It's really easy. All you need is this link and then you all you got to do is tap on your buttons and you mark them off as you call the numbers. So really quite easy. So what we're going to do to set up our form is what we actually want to do is charge people and let them pick which card they want to uh, play. So what I've done is I've highlighted all of these. I'm going to highlight this whole list and I'm going to copy it. And so what, that's what I'm going to do for now. And then uh, later when you come to call the game, you're going to come back here and you will hit call game. There's two different or three different call sequences that they give you. So if you want to play three games that night, you can uh, run three different games through these. And what's kind of cool is as you are running your game, so we'll kind of, uh, so if I was the organizer and everyone was on Zoom and everyone had their bingo cards open, 
I would hit start. And uh, the first one would be 069. And I would call it. Next one's B3, uh, B28. And, and I would call these numbers. And when somebody goes, bingo, I won, I go, okay, well, what card are you using over there? And they would say, oh, I'm using card two. And what I could do is put in card two and hit view card. And this would show me, did they really win or are they lying? So I could see here, no, you didn't win because you only got a certain amount of, uh, of pluses. So that's really kind of a cool th feature about this is like you can see right away uh, and verify if somebody who had that card um, actually was winning or not, which is uh, pretty fun. And uh, so that's all how the Bingo Game Manager works. The next thing that we're going to set up is a Google Form. And so if you've never used a Google Form, you just go on over to forms.google.com and they're free to set up. And so I've set up this one called a Bingo Sample Form. And so you can start from a blank form, but the one I've set up is here, and I'll share the link to you with you in the description below for you can try out this form, and you can also um, copy it so you can get started with it. And so Google Forms, they're really easy to use, and so right now I'm in edit mode. So I'm in the mode that I get to make my form. And a Google Form, is a for it'll give you a link that you can give to your friends, and they can fill it out to let you know that they want to come to your bingo game. And we're going to let them pick which cards they want and even pay for those cards before the game starts. And then after they pay, they'll automatically get a link to the Zoom event uh, that they'll have, and they'll have the links to their cards. So this is all editable. So you can change this title to anything you want. You can change the background and the images, and you can write a little bit maybe in the description about the prizes or what you're uh, raising money for here in this description. You can add as many questions as you want in your form. So what I did here is I added a short answer question, and I just said like, hey, how did you hear about us? Um, and this is a description. You can add little descriptions inside here. Uh, you could make it required if you wanted to or not. This is all just standard Google Forms stuff. So the next thing we did is we uh, made a big list. Please select the bingo cards. Choose the card that you would like to play. Um, and you can buy multiple cards for yourself or share them with your friends and family. So in my event, I had kind of imagined I might have like an 8 p.m. game that's a little bit cheaper. And then maybe a 10 p.m. game with the VIPs who want to come later on. And one of the really cool things about Google uh, Forms is, so I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so we can delete these out. I'm going to just delete these rows because I entered these previously. Um, and so the way I've set up my questions is a checkbox grid with columns being the game time. And then the rows are going to be the cards. So if I had paid for 100 cards, I would have 100 cards copied, right? We were over here. Uh, and I went into my invite players, individual links, and I copy this list all the way up to the top like that. Copy. And then when I came over here, oops, sorry, to my form in edit mode right here, all I have to do is hit paste, control V or command V, and boom, it will automatically add a row for every single line. So Google will add 30 different rows here and uh, there's 30 different lines there. So what we're going to do is we're going to let somebody pick the card. They're going to choose in advance which cards they want to play at 8 p.m. and which cards they want to play at 10 p.m. out of the cards that we've set up here. Uh, and these are our cards, our links that we just set up. And then I added another question here that said, would you like to add an additional donation? And somebody could add an extra $10 or $20 or whatever they would like um, to the dollar amount. So Google Forms out of the box does all of this stuff, but what we also are using is an add-on. And so this add-on is called the Payable Forms add-on. And so if you've never seen our Payable Forms add-on, what it does is it looks for money amounts inside of a form that your, co your customers are filling out and it automatically adds a checkout to it. And that checkout can be powered by PayPal or Square or Stripe. And so we have a couple other videos that show you the full setup steps for getting started with payable forms, but it's really quite easy. You would install that add-on um, and you would go through the getting started steps, which include just hitting auto configure form and sheet, syncing your theme, and then connecting your payment provider. And in this case, I've connected PayPal. Um, my form has been turned on as payable and that means it's listening. 
And right now it's in test mode. So that means we're not going to remove real money each time we fill it out. It's going to just be for practice right now, uh, which is handy. There's a couple other things that I did is so in the checkout settings, um, there's a little area here called post payment message. And in this section, I put thanks for joining bingo night. Use this Zoom link at 8 p.m. on Friday. And I put the Zoom link in here for the people who have paid so that they'll automatically have the link to where to go on the night of. Um, and so that's really easy. The other thing you can do is you have to remember when you're doing fundraising, one of the things that happens is PayPal is still going to take their fee. Uh, so PayPal or Stripe or Square, these are credit card transactions. And, you know, like death and taxes, we will always be paying credit for card fees as the person receiving the funds. These are commercial transactions considered and not peer to peer. So if you wanted, you could add a small handling fee. Uh, it's You don't have to do this, but this is just going to add to the checkout process. Uh, I pass a little bit of an extra convenience fee onto your uh, onto the buyer, and I'll show you what that looks like. But you don't really need to do it. The other thing you could do is if, if this is a not for profit or a charity, or you're doing actual like or, or doing fundraising, you can switch this drop down to donation, and that'll just change the button labels a little bit. So when you're going through the payment experience, it it says donation instead of buyer or donor instead of buyer. Um, and then other than that, that's about it. You could set up promo codes for your friends and family. So say you had a family uh, promo code you wanted to set up where they got 10% off. You could do that as well. So we're just going to do that here and I'll show you the demo on the checkout page. Okay. So generally it's as easy as that. You can do, uh, do various other things here in the add-on, like customize the email messages that go out in the notification settings uh, and other things like that. Okay, so when you're ready to see what your form looks like to people who are going to fill it out, um, all you have to do is click this eyeball, the preview button. And so the preview button will now show me the form like my customers would see it. And so now um, my this is what my form looks like to somebody who I'm going to send out this link to. I can say, hey, to come to my bingo night to raise money for the baseball team, uh, just come to use this link. So they would get here and they would put in their email address and it's going to say, how did I learn about you? And I'm going to say, uh, it was on the internet. And uh, then here is our bingo card section. And so here is all 30 of the bingo cards. And I've actually set this up so that it randomizes the cards a little bit. So you can see how they're out of order. If I refresh this page, it should, uh, maybe not on this one because it's saving my status. They'll be random each time somebody uh, comes to the page. So for the 8 p.m. game, I'm thinking I might want to play card four and then maybe card two. And at the 10 p.m. game, I'm going to play three cards and I want to play 26, 24, and 17. Okay. So generally, this is kind of how it works. Somebody could click on this and actually take a look at the card if you wanted to get really strategic uh, in advance before you buy the cards, you could actually kind of take a look at them. It is possible that two people would choose the same card and um, then they just have to be the first one to say bingo. But uh, overall, uh, this is kind of the easiest way that I've found to assign a card and payment all in advance uh, before your event happens. So I'm gonna pick those. And I'm going to add an extra donation of $10, and I'm going to hit Submit. So this is the Google Forms confirmation message that you're, you would come to. And you can click on this, as so this is what your users would do, as the next step. And this is going to transition them right away to the checkout page. And so you can see here they were given an order ID, and their order is in the status. And we can also see the different things that they've purchased. So they purchased this card and this card for the 8 p.m. game, card 2 and card 4 for 8 p.m. And then for the 10 p.m. game, they purchased card 17, 24, and 26, made an additional donation of $10. Here's that convenience fee that we added, uh, 4%. So we added that in the add-on, and so that's really just going to help you cover those PayPal costs. It's kind of adding it on. You're asking the seller to help contribute to some of those PayPal costs and those PayPal fees uh, to get more money coming to you. And you can see because we set it up as a donation, you can see it says donor here, uh, donor details. And also it has the PayPal donate button and donate by card because we said that this was going to be a donation. 
Um, so this is a really cool way to really get everything done up front. So we have these test cards here for test mode. And so since this form is in test mode, I can fill it out with a test card, which is not real, uh, 366 and uh, 90210, pay with Visa. Okay, so this would charge your customer's card for the bingo cards that they had set up. And then it's gonna return them to their receipt page. So now their order page, it, you can only pay it once and it includes all of their bingo cards, which they've purchased, their additional donation. And then here is that post payment message we set. And so here, now you, you're only sharing the link with people who have actually paid and it's automatically saying, you know, thanks for joining bingo night, use this Zoom link uh, at 8 p.m. on Friday and we'll see you then. So just like that, it was really easy for you as an organizer to get up and running and get your bingo cards sent out to your customer. So I've paid, I got my five cards. If I wanted to invite a friend or a family member and send them a link to one of my cards, you know, I could buy a couple cards and send one to different people. I could share this link with my friends as well. Uh, but what happens for you as the organizer is when you go back to your Google form in edit mode, I'm just gonna refresh the page quickly. So you'll see these responses come in. And so these are the responses coming in for people who filled out my form. it will kind of show you the basic statistics. When you click on this green uh, button, it will say show in sheet. And so the payable add-on, what it does is it automatically collects the email address. And so you can see here, these are all the different cards across the top that people have picked. And then along at the very end, you would see our payable statuses. Was it paid? Has it not been paid? Um, and when it was paid and what the PayPal transaction ID was and how it was paid. So it's a really good way for you to not only know what cards people bought, if you wanted to double check, uh, that when they say bingo, they actually were playing the right card. Uh, I could see here, this one is, okay, that was card four that this person bought um, for what time and everything like that. That was the 10 at 8 p.m. This person bought card four. So you can see everything automatically in your Google spreadsheet. So I just wanted to share that as I, what I thought would be the easiest way to get up and running um, using um, the completely free um, bingo game manager and free bingo cards, uh, myfreebingocards.com and uh, Google's payable forms and combining those two to build a pretty seamless fundraising experience for your group or your not-for-profit or uh, whatever it is that you might be doing. Bingo is fun for everyone, you know, from kids to old uh, seniors, everyone loves uh, bingo. So I just kind of wanted to share this concept of how to make an easy to use registration and have that virtual bingo night as a fundraising opportunity for your team. I will share links to everything in the comment section below. Uh, so you can kind of copy and try out the samples and I wish you the best of luck. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment here on the YouTube channel or uh, go to payableplugins.com and chat with us. Uh, we are here to help you and uh, help make payments easy. So good luck.